Well, you know, it, you know, start I'll kind of work backwards there. You know, the opportunity to be in the best conference in, in all of football is an exciting opportunity and challenge. Uh, Mississippi State is, is is someone that you know, a university that that I've watched my whole life. I've been have affiliation with and, and, and excitedness with the SEC football. I mean, it's it, like you said, it's all. It, it's all exciting brand of football, and coming from the National Football League, where there's SEC players all over the place. Um, but the opportunity to come back and work with Joe was 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 definitely the number one thing for me. Uh, like I said, he is very influential in my life. Uh, uh, when I was getting recruited as a, as a young quarterback in high school at the University of Pittsburgh, uh, Joe was a graduate assistant there, and so our relationship, you know, kind of started way back then. And then I got the opportunity to play for him again at Akron. Had the opportunity to coach for him as my first coaching job I've ever had. Uh, so our relationship goes way back. The success that he's had, uh, the evolution of his offense uh, from where it was when we were back in Akron in 2008 to where it is now is something that I really wanted to get around and learn more from and be a part of as well. And then, you know, hopefully the experiences that I had, I, you know, feel like I can add to it. No, it'll honestly be very similar to where I just came from, uh, is how I see it. You know, the uh, the head coach has a lot of responsibilities and a lot of hats to wear. Yes, he's going to be the play caller on game day, and it is his offense first and foremost. Um, but the, the, the importance of the leadership of the offensive coordinator is critical in a situation like this because, you know, he's not going to be able to do everything that he did at Penn State as far as the commitment to the offense, and it's my responsibility to, to be – you know, the second hand, his second hand man, you know, his right hand man, always there to, uh, you know, think alike, act alike, and hopefully lead alike. Yeah, I mean, very little, to be honest with you, and, and, and it's a little bit uh, on purpose on my behalf because I want to I wanna give these young men every opportunity to prove uh, their personalities and their abilities to me. And, and, let, and let me kind of create my own vision of it rather than uh, listening to somebody else tell me how good or how not so good a player is. So I'm very open-minded. Um, I think when you look at our football team, you know, as you walk in that locker room, it's in a very impressive looking, uh, looking football team, so I'm excited about that. I've gotten to know the receivers very well, uh, not enough of the rest of the team very well, but the receivers I'm extremely excited about. Um, I think they're all very passionate men. Excited to get to know them even more, but I think there's a, there is a, a lot of very good young men that we can we can have a lot of success with here for sure.